Good morning. Welcome to WTHA News. We are your anchors, Matt Melfrist and Brian Crosby. Weather reporter Olivia Sanders will let us know how the weather will be this week. Hi, this is Olivia Sanders with WTHA reporting from the front lobby. This week's weather is sunny, beautiful, and hot, so dress accordingly. See you next time. Jessica Perez will now tell you what's happening this week around THA. This is Jessica reporting from the front lobby where I'm going to tell you all of the exciting things ha happening this week. There are no events on Monday. Tuesday, B team, JV, and varsity volleyball play versus John Paul in Okadi starting at 4. On Wednesday, Spirit Week begins with theme number 1 for 9th to 12th grade. On Thursday, B team, JV, and varsity volleyball play versus Buford Academy in Buford starting at 4. Middle School Football which is Hilton Head Christian in Hilton Head at 6 p.m. Also, this day is Spirit Week theme number two. Friday is T-shirt day for grades 9 through 12. All other grades may wear a THA T-shirt of their choice with jeans. Varsity Football which is Hilton Head Christian at THA at 7.30 along with Homecoming. This is Jessica reporting from THA Front Lobby. Good day and good luck. This year we are starting a new Halloween tradition. Dalton Steely, Cardo, and Miss Alicia Crosby will find out about the Haunted Trail. Hi, my name is Dalton Steely reporting for WTHA here with Miss Alicia Crosby on the Haunted Trail and I just have a few questions for it. So first, how long did it take you to set up? Uh, we have been working on setting up the Haunted Trail for a year. Um, how many people are participating? Uh, all of the student body is going to be participating in some way, whether they're helping with carnival games or whether they get to be zombies during the event. Um, and even parents and grandparents are helping out. And how many years have you been doing this? This is our first year of the Haunted Trail. We're hoping to make this an annual event and we're hoping to make this one of our major fundraisers for the school. And there you go. I'm Dalton Studio Report from WTHA. Have a good day. Logan Thomas and Owen White will report about this week's sporting events from Harvey Beach Stadium. Hi, my name is Logan Thomas alongside Owen White here on top of the press box at Harvey Beach Stadium reporting the sports for this week. Tuesday we have B Team, JV, and Varsity Volleyball at John Paul starting at 4. And also Thursday we have B Team, JV, and Varsity Volleyball at BA Academy starting at 4 o'clock. Also on Thursday we have middle school football playing on Hilton Head. Uh, against Hilton Head Christian at 6 o'clock. And on Friday, we have the varsity football team playing here for homecoming against Hilton Head Christian. And I'm Owen White, alongside Logan Thomas, and, and we, we out here. B-team volleyball players are having fun this season. Victoria Sanders stopped by to talk to some of the players. Let's see what they have to say. Hello, this is Victoria Sanders from WTHA, reporting from the pavilion. Today, I have with me some returning players from B-team volleyball. This is Lucy Dancer, Kaylee Sander, and Emma Grace Newador. Um, so girls, I'm going to ask you all a few questions. Uh, Lucy, how do you feel about this year's season? <laughs> I think we're doing really well so far. Okay, good. Kaylee, what is your favorite position to play and why? I like being a hitter because I like to hit it over for that. Same. Um, Emma Grace, what is um, teamwork to you? Is it important? Teamwork is important because you can't play a game with one person. That's a good answer. Yeah. Alright y'all, that's a wrap for today and remember to stay fast and fast. Reporter Megha Patel was curious about what superpowers some of our students would want to have. Let's see what they chose. This is Mega reporting from the library with a variety of students, asking them what their superpower would be and why. Um, my name is Austin, and my superpower would be probably being invisible, because like I could walk around and nobody would see me, and yeah. Hi, I'm Macy Taylor, and my superpower would be flying, because I would love to fly. My name is Kayla and I like ice hell because I like ice. My name is Zach Bond. If I could have any superpower in the whole world, it would be every single thing that I ever said in my life and still say, everybody in the world would hear it. 
So all the wonderful things that come out of my mouth and also the noises, everybody in the whole entire universe would hear it. There you have it. This is Mega reporting from the library. The little brown girl. Out. Reverend reporter Trace Lauther called up with Coach Michael Heath to find out about his perspective on our varsity football progress. Good morning, this is Trace the Floater Lauther here with Coach Michael Heath, our history teacher and defensive coordinator for the football team. Coach Heath, how's the uh, defense been working out so far the past few weeks in the football team? Um, well, the defense has been coming along. We've been progressing. We've been getting better and better every single week. Um, you know, we have to prepare week by week uh, according to what the other team is going to do. Um, and sometimes what they do really plays into our strengths, like what you saw early in the season, the first game against Ridgeland, and then um, last week what you saw against Bethesda. Right. And you, they, uh, if you didn't know, the defense did hold Bethesda to only 12 points, which is uh, an unfamiliar scene from the past. Hope, Coach, how are you managed, able to manage to uh, hold Bethesda just 12 points? Uh, well, it's a... Um, it's been a building process for our guys to understand um, what Bethesda does and what their objectives are. Uh, and it's really played well this year into our strengths, into what we're good at doing um, this year. Um, they didn't really do a whole lot of different things than they did in the past. Um, just this year, this team is a little bit better equipped and a little bit more familiar now with the schemes that they run, um, being that we have implemented some of those same schemes ourselves. So we see those same schemes on a week-to-week -week basis uh, from our scout defense um, going up against our first-string offense during practice. Right. Now this week we've got a big region opener against John Paul. they got a few weapons. What do you expect to... Uh... Well, John Paul definitely has a few weapons. Uh, they have a big running back in the backfield who's averaging a lot of yards per game. Um, they have an outstanding receiver uh, that plays on the outside. He's got a lot of speed. Um, they also have a very good fullback who is probably a um, very underrated player for them uh, that probably doesn't get a lot of the credit in the newspaper and stuff, but he makes a lot of tackles on defense, and uh, he's, he leads the way for the, for the running back. So our objective this week is to stop the run. Uh, we feel like if we can stop the run, we'll force them to do some things that they don't necessarily like to do or they don't want to do. Um, so we hope to put them in some situations that they are unfamiliar with or that are not what they want. Um, and it caused them to make some mistakes. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Make sure to come out this Friday to see John Paul and Thomas Taylor play here at Hardy Beach Stadium, see the defense perform, hopefully as good as they have in the past few weeks. This is Trace the Floater Lauther signing off. And remember, a floater a day takes the troubles away. Local school reporter Elena DeLong visited with kindergarten to see what they've been learning. Let's see what she discovered. Hello, I'm Elena DeLong with WTHA, and I'm here with preschooler Gunnar Horton. His class is currently learning about their shapes and colors. What's your favorite color? Um, orange. Orange? Okay. What's your favorite shape? Shark. A shark? You want to draw a shark for me? Eyes. Yeah, there's a nice part here. Jaw, tail. Mm-hmm. That's a tail. Tail. Shark fin. This is shark fin. They have it on their back. Mm-hmm. That's there's room. That's a that's a that's a thing, man. Surfers do really do have these. They really do. Then jaw. This surfers really have these feet. That tall, big old throat. Like so that's that. their body. No, that's the river. This is the river. This 
It's that's the river. That's the river? Who's that? What's that? Bubba Gump. Bubba Gump? <laughs> Oh, that's a beautiful drawing. All right, let's show the people watching your drawing. There you have it, an original. That's. I'm Elena along with WTHA, and I'm reminding you that when the news breaks, we fix it. Emma Richardson visited with students to ask who their role model was. Let's see their responses. Hello, I'm Emma Richardson with WTHA News. I'm going to be interviewing a variety of students about who their role models are. Jessica, who are your role models? Jana Christian and Bailey Brown. Why? Because they're good friends and very loyal. My role model is Jacqueline Kennedy because she's an equestrian, she's a book editor, she has great manners, she's a wonderful dresser, and she was a beautiful woman. My role model would have to be my dad because he shows me how to be strong and encourages me to do the best of my ability. All right, my role model is Coach Heath because he's a great guy and teaches me good life lessons. <laughs> my mom is my role model because she's taught me to be the best person I could be. One of my favorite role models is Casey Neistat because he is an awesome YouTuber and encourages me to do the best I can do and encourages me to be what I want to be. My mom's my role model because she's a really smart and funny woman and she's always been kind to other people no matter how bad the situation is. And there you have it. This has been Emma Richardson hoping your news is good news. Hi, this is Gabrielle Boyce reporting for Thomas Hewitt Academy and you're watching WTHA. Today I have with me the head of school, Ms. Davis. Ms. Davis, what do you plan on doing for the days we missed during the hurricane? Well, we missed three days due to, the, due to the hurricane. One of those we had built in our school calendar as a day set aside just in case we needed to take it for things like this. Yes, the other two days, we went back to the SKIS regulations, reviewed those, talked to the teachers, and after much discussion, we've decided that we should be able to cover all of the work without adding additional days at this time. The, the teachers sent home assignments, that they've held the students accountable for doing that work. They've also adjusted the pace that they're going, um, that they're moving at. They've compacted a little bit with the curriculum and they've left out a few of the non-essential things that they may have added in to supplement you know, some of the lessons. So unless anything changes, no makeup days for the fall semester. If we have another hurricane, yes. if we have a snow day, then we have days in the spring that we could add to the calendar if needed. That's great. Um, also, I heard that you made changes to the parking lot. Can you explain what those changes were? We're always looking at that parking lot, trying to get it right. It'd be very nice if we had nice little lines painted, but being a dirt parking lot, we try to find the best way to make use of the space. After talking to Mr. Stanley, Coach Shuford, and, and Ms. Mr. Pryor, Coach Pryor, we decided to designate rows one and two for seniors. They've been given little stickers to go on the back of their, or on their windshields that say class of 2018. They will be parking in those two spots, which will be a little bit closer to the building. Everybody else will be parking in rows three and four, and it'll be basically a first come, first serve. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank and you. We also want to encourage everybody to pick up the trash. Sometimes when you open your doors, things fall out. You know, do everything you can to help us keep that parking lot clean. Of course. This is Gabrielle Willis, and you're watching WTJ. If it matters to you, it matters to us. That will do it for this edition of WTHA. We're your anchors, Matt Malfress and Brian Crosby, and that's just the way it is.